I'm Renata Clanton Moyd. I'm the communications specialist with the Cumberland County Schools and your host of Get Connected. Now during this monthly show, we highlight numerous educational topics that face today's student, educator, and parent in the Cumberland County Schools. Now long gone are the days when a school student council only held elections so the officers could plan a dance or hold a bake sale or car wash. Today, student government associations or SGAs in schools across the county are working hard to help galvanize their student bodies in the areas of service and leadership. And after this break, we'll talk with some area SGA leaders who know firsthand the good work the numerous associations are doing on this edition of Get Connected. I'm a teacher. Let me tell you what I make. I make learning a privilege, not a chore. And frustration, a tool, not an obstacle. I make working hard seem easy, and giving up impossible. And then we're going to turn the lights and everybody look up. I make an old subject feel like a fresh thought. What's your reaction? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And unconventional methods. Uh, okay, what else? Common. This is their world. There's nothing. And then they die. Go ahead, go, go, go. I'm a teacher. I make. Thanks for joining us for this edition of Get Connected. We're talking with Terry Sanford High School student body president, Nathaniel Browning, and Jay Shaw, the president of the North Carolina Association of Student Councils. Gentlemen, welcome. Thank, Thank you, you for, for having us. us. Yeah, yeah appreciate it. It's kind of hard to believe you guys are like students because y'all are so business-like. You know? <laughs> but it's so, yeah, it's great to have you all on here. And both of you are seniors, correct? Yes, ma'am. Wow, going off to college? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma yes, ma well, definitely. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, ma well, that's good. And it's good to see that um, you all as young men are really involved in your student government association. So let's talk a little bit about that, okay? Yes, ma'am. All right. First of all, what is the role of the SGA in your school? Well, um, SGA in our school really, our, our purpose is to serve the students. So much like a government serves the people, uh, we serve the students. So, you know, we have about 1,300 students in our school, and uh, we do events such as homecoming, things, uh, dances, but we also do other events that we want to help students out in the school. So one of the things we do is peer mentoring. Uh, we do things such as student of the week so we can recognize students that do, you know, random acts of kindness and great things, you know, that don't necessarily get recognized all the time. But, you know, we, we're trying to pull students out into the limelight, you know, mm -hmm. uh, build students up. and. That one of the things that you know we try to instill in our student body is you know you can do as much as you dream to do and you know right. we can make it we can make it happen it's just the work and that's what we're here for we're here to work for the students that's good yeah um, we do a lot of big events at our school mm -hmm. we do homecoming we help out with prom we have elections we do all these huge things at our school uh, fundraisers uh, we have the state convention uh, just huge projects uh, throughout the state statewide locally community wide. Um, and, you know, we're trying to be with the students. We're trying to get in there. We're trying to help them out. Um, I know sometimes we help out kids in ISS in school suspension. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we go in there, we talk to them. You know, we're one-on-one. -on -one. You know, what's up, man? How you been? You know, why are you in ISS? You know what happened? Uh, you know, you, you try to relate to them. You try and help them out. And um, I think Nate's done a great job. You know, he commands our student body. He commands our SGA. He tells them, you know, he leads us. That's um, great. We have Great events, yeah. That's good. So let me ask you this. Do you all feel as though what you do um, influences heavily the outlook for your student body? Yes, ma'am. Well, Definitely. Um, you know, our kids look to us as the kids who run things, you know? And oh, the kids who run things. Go, <laughs> Jay. Actually, sometimes that, those are big shoes to fill, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's kind of tough, you know, we have a lot of pressure on us, and these kids are looking at us. So every time we get there, you know, we have to make sure our ducks are in a row. We have to be prepared with everything we do. We have to um, make sure events are running smooth. So it's, it's a lot of pressure on us, but you know, I think that's part of you know, why we ran. We want to help out. We, we know we can make a difference. We have inspiring teachers. 
-hmm. We're always there. We're telling us we can do it. And I think, you know, they recognize that in us, which is why we get elected again, which is why we stay running things and doing things like that. That's good. So clearly you all are building your leadership skills. I mean, I'm sitting here across from quite possibly the presence of the United States. Huh? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, but you know, you I'm, never know, man. You never know, right? And it's, it's kind of crazy to think about that because, you know, I, I, don't, I don't know about if Jay has the same kind of uh, story, but I know I started back my sophomore year. I had no kind of leadership schools, but Mr. Height, our SGA advisor, and the students such as Jay that have already been on council have helped me and not only me, but a, a couple other students to raise their leadership skills and become better. And so it's, it's kind of awesome to think about how students improve and you can see their potential rise and when they become adults, who knows they might need be the next president. You know? Right. As a freshman coming into Terry Sanford, I never knew I was going to be doing a TV show one day. You know, it's, it's just <laughs> kind of crazy to think about right, that. Right. And so I also like to think of student uh, SGA as an outlet, you know, opportunities. We get to do all sorts of great things, mm -hmm. and it's an opportunity. And when you treat it like that, it's just revolutionary. You know, it changes everything, changes your outlook. Um, I enjoy doing this now. Freshman year, I didn't know what this was. Mm -hmm. And now I look back on it, I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm glad I did this. And it's definitely been a, just a breathtaking ride. That's good. Now, I know you all used your leadership skills to host, like, a truly awesome state convention. Yeah, I got to see a lot of the pictures. And, I mean, you all look like you were having some really good fun. <laughs> but at the same time, I could see you all were doing a lot of um, leadership types of exercises. Mm -hmm. But tell us about, tell our audience about your you know, your adventures with the state convention. So we started out two years ago when I first ran for the position of president-elect of the association. Um, you know, my advisor, he thought it would be a good idea. You know, I see potential in you. I think you can do this. I made a video. You no, know, I campaigned with my, my student body, campaigned with my SGA, and uh, we worked on slogans. We worked on posters, everything. Went all the way. You know, I won. Mm -hmm. And that was when it was time to get cracking. You know, I thought the work had been done, but state convention is a huge project. Uh, we had to come up with a theme. We had to come up with events. You know, this is a weekend long thing. Where are these kids going to stay? Right. What are they going to eat? Just, just huge things like that that we had to work out. And what was the theme? Uh, legendary leadership, where, or, where legendary leadership begins. Now, was it, do you feel like the event, the experience was legendary? Yes, ma'am. How yes. so? I, I believe it was legendary because uh, when we did start two years ago, uh, we were thinking of a theme. You know, there had been themes in the past, you know, superheroes and uh, sailing the, sh the leadership, the, the ship, the leaders. And um, uh, this theme kind of stood out, you know, as we were trying to instill leadership in a legendary form to the delegates that came. Uh, we had guest speakers such as Michael Jordan come, and we had KJ Scriven, and we had veterans come in, all sorts of legendary people, and we tried to do legendary things to show that, you know, we're starting here in high school, but the limits are endless, you know, the, the right. possibilities are endless, excuse right, me. Right, right. And so if, if you try to see the potential that you have in every delegate that can, you know, every person has something that is like a talent to them, something that's unique about them. And mm -hmm. if they let that flourish, if they put the work in, and if they seize the opportunity, then they can become a legend, just like Michael Jordan. You know, they didn't start just off the bat legendary, they were regular people. Right. And they rose to that occasion because they put the work in. They put the work in and yes, consistency too. Yes, ma'am. Being very consistent, being consistent with what you do. And that's part of that, putting the work in. Yes, yeah, that's yes, great. Sir. So much work to put in. Um, I was telling Nate this analogy I came up with. Uh, mm -hmm. I like to think of it as a watch, you know? This convention was a nice Rolex, whatever kind of nice watch you want to think of. Um, you know, and every watch to build one, you have the numbers. You need mm -hmm. the numbers. You need big hand, small hand. Um, you need the gold. You need the uh, buckle, the band. Um, but the biggest problem we ran into, you know, the, the really grit of it, was the little gears that go into a watch. You know, what makes that watch actually tick? What was the battery? Mm -hmm. What were the gears that were turning the watch? Um, a lot of those things we, we had to put thought into, which Nate and I had never really thought of before. You know, we always see the big picture, which we nailed down. But um, those little gears, that was a big turning point in, I think, Nate and I's SGA careers, where we had to realize what goes into a project of that size. That's good, yeah. A lot of event plan, a lot of planning. Yes, A lot of planning, yeah. that's good. And it sounds like you all had, you worked with your council well enough to get things executed, and yes, everyone played their part on the team. So. Yes, ma'am. 
That's it, good. It was very important uh, that you know each individual person played a part. You know, even how, no matter how minuscule or how big each part that that person played, it wouldn't have been the same if it wasn't for everybody. You know, it was a it was a team project, and so that's good. That was very important. And when you say team project, something else that comes to me is um, you all not only work as a team there on campus, but you also work as a team out in the community yes, doing it. Talk to us about some of the things that you all are doing in the community. Well, um, some of the things that we do do, um, we do the Cross Street Cleanup is one of our events that we do on a yearly basis. Uh, we go out uh, with a couple other people in the community and we go clean the Cross Creek River. And um, it's, it's, very, it's a lot of fun actually if you go down there and mm -hmm. you just get to doing it. But you get to, to see like, the joy of doing something good you know, helping people out. And I think that's something that, you know, when we do events in our school and we do things such as peer mentoring or go to ISS, like Jay said, you know, that not only extends in the school, but that extends to home. So it's kind of like an effect that, like dominoes in a sense. Mm -hmm. When you hit one, it pushes out to the other and it keeps going and going and going. And so that's, I, I believe it, it kind of extends out into the community in that sense. I don't know right. if you wanted to add anything to that. Yeah, it's kind of funny. I feel like Nate and I like philosophers. Just well, that's all right. Philosophize, if there's such a word. <laughs> yeah, it's just like over the years, it's crazy how much knowledge I've come upon, you know? And mm -hmm. there's, SGA is a treasure cove of all this crazy, great knowledge and experiences that you get to hear from real people, real things, like real lives that we're changing, that we're learning from. Mm -hmm. uh, Nate mentioned Cross Creek Cleanup. Uh, that was life-changing and we do it every year and it's great because you get to see the pol like the pollution that goes on in our community and you get to actually change that and you get to realize you know like hey you know littering is a terrible thing and I've firsthand seen the effects of it um, you also see homeless people which mm -hmm. is you know you, you don't really think that happens when you're young but when you go out and you see it for yourself you, you learn a lot you realize that you know okay the world isn't just a perfect happy place it needs a lot of work done so yeah. You know, we're, I feel like Nate and I think that sometimes we're those people who have to do the work. We have to make it a better place. Exactly. And, and I think a lot of that goes into looking outside of yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, looking outside at, at the community and seeing that the world does not revolve around you and your needs. And, right. and you know, right. a lot of times older people, we tend to think that younger people are only looking at themselves and not concerned about. But it's good to see that through your experiences with student government, mm -hmm. that you all are looking out into the community, you're branching out into the community and trying to help make a difference in other people's lives yes, and in the world. Yes, That's great, that is great. So I hope you're gonna take these experiences and to college with you, right? Because both of you are going to college. Yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. I yes. plan on doing SGA in college. I'd hey, love to, well, yeah. so. That's good, that's good. And where are your plans? Uh, going, going to NC State University. NC State? UNC Charlotte. That's good. That's all right. Well, we definitely look forward to hearing some wonderful things about all of the great things you guys are going to do when you branch out and you move, you know, into other parts of the world. And all I have to say is if you go to the White House, <laughs> look, come back and, you know, yes, yes, bring us, bring us, bring us. But we really do appreciate everything you're doing, okay? Thank you. Yes, and sure. please take that back to your respective council and to the state as well. Appreciate you young sure. people. All yes, right. Thanks for having me. Or you for being here, right? Oh, thank you for thank having you for us. Having All right. We okay. appreciate it. Well, don't go anywhere. Stick around for more Get Connected. Read to a child today and spark a lifetime of ambition. Everybody has a dream.
mine was to see the ocean. And with a little help, I made it. You wouldn't let money just blow out of your house. So when your AC or heater is on, make sure the doors, windows, and fireplace flue are shut tight. If you're headed out, turn down the AC or lower the heat by 10 degrees. And always keep your water heater set at 120. A little bit of common sense goes a long way. Get more great tips at energysaver.gov. There are some moments only the forest can inspire. Find yours at discovertheforest.org. Thanks for joining us for this edition of Get Connected. The guests for the second half of our show are Cross Creek Early College High School SGA coordinator Kenny Huffman and student representative Morgan O'Neill. Now we're discussing the numerous leadership and service opportunities for local SGAs and what they're pursuing. Okay, now let me talk with you all again. And this is just so very interesting because you all are from somewhat of a non-traditional high school. It's mm -hmm. true. Cross Creek Early College High School. I mean, got a lot of things going on. Yes, ma'am. You know, and I know for you all, Morgan, um, studies are studies are rigorous across the county, but they're really mm -hmm. rigorous because not only are you guys trying to pursue your high school, but then also your college degrees. Mm -hmm. So how does this SGA fit into all of that? Um, well, we have SGA during um, homeroom time, which is from 9.15 to 9.35, so we get to meet every day, oh, um, cool. unlike a traditional school. So we get together in the morning before we start class, and we just get together, have our ideas, plan everything out that we need to for the week, and we're set. That's good. Now, I know, um, Kenny, with you being the advisor, you help kind of drive that, I'm sure. Yeah, I, I feel like my role is more like a facilitator. Okay. Uh, I, you know, Hopefully the students come in with some ideas or... Uh, some goals in which they want to achieve and my job is just to kind of make it as easy as possible for them to uh, accomplish these things. That's good. And what are some of the activities you all have planned, Morgan? Um, well, recently, uh, well, a few months back, we planned an Easter egg hunt for the okay. Early Learning uh, Learning Center at Fayetteville State's campus. So we get to uh, put about like 500 eggs on a big stadium mm -hmm. and we let the kids just run out there and have a blast. I mean it was amazing. It was unbelievable. That's good. And you know what earlier I um, got the opportunity to talk with um, Nate and Jay from um, the SGA Association there at um, Terry Sanford, Terry Sanford. Yes, yes. and they were really talking about how they do different things to reach out to the community. So mm -hmm. it's really great to see you all, th that common thread just kind of flows through most of the SGAs throughout our county. Mm -hmm. yeah, we, uh, uh, we've also done some work, we've, uh, for about the last seven years we have helped out with, the, uh, with Urban Ministries, I know Terry Sanford and some of the other high schools as well, uh, especially around the holiday times, they uh, help out with Urban Ministries uh, collecting food and uh, doling it out to the to the people who who need it mm, through Urban true. Ministries. That's good. Now, what obstacles do you all have to overcome to make SGA more effective? Well, we have a very small group. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we only have about 300 kids in our school, so we have about 15 students in our SGA. And the seniors and juniors don't get to visit us very often because they have college classes. Okay. So we have to have better communication and fit time in to all talk to each other. Okay. All right. Now, so in essence, what you're saying is you as a, you're a sophomore, correct? Yes. Okay. But the juniors or seniors are kind of doing their coursework while mm -hmm. you all are doing the planning. Yes. Pretty much. But they come mm -hmm. in and help. Yes, of course. When they can, yeah. Okay. Uh, they, as, as you progress through the school, you take more university courses, and uh, sometimes those times don't really match up with the traditional uh, high school classes. So right, right. sometimes it's, uh, so a lot of times it's just the sophomores and That's the freshmen. Good. But you know what, with that though, Kenny, I'm sure you can attest to that. I'm sure that helps you all, Morgan, um, as a sophomore, because Jay and I and, and Nate and I discussed that a little earlier, help build your leadership skills early on. Of course. Talk to us about that. 
So freshman year, I didn't really join SGA. I was mm -hmm. kind of nervous, reserved. I didn't know what, what, it, what it was about. Mm -hmm. And at the end of my freshman year, I came to a meeting on the very last day of school, and we all sat together in a room and elected officials and talked about what we were going to do for the next year. And it just, we started the next semester, and I was in it. But it builds my confidence. Like, at the beginning of the semester, I didn't really talk much. I didn't do anything. Now I'm planning events, helping people. It, it's amazing. Good. Now, are you all working to bring other young people or other people there in your school into the fold of SGA? We try to um, communicate with clubs and get them to help us with certain events like a carnival. Mm -hmm. And we've, uh, it's, it's been, we've ha I've had to make some adjustments. Uh, a few years ago, mm -hmm. we were, uh, it was a, ver a general election where the students would elect their representatives, but then it became sort of a popularity contest. And uh, so I had a lot of popular kids in my class, but they weren't very motivated. They were the, just the kids who brought cupcakes on election day. Oh, <laughs> got Which it. also reflects what uh, adults are the same way. Right, but what, right. are you, what will you do for me so I can vote for you? So, right. so it had to kind of... Put some uh, meat on the bones. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so uh, we've gotten to the place where, I, I, as, a, as an instructor, I will select um, the sophomores uh, and I'll, I'll select the underclassmen and even some juniors to come in and then they will elect their own uh, officers within that group there. Okay. So it takes a little bit of the popularity contest. Though. Yeah, 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 that's a good point. Now, you know what, I, I read where you all work with um, Victory Junction. What yes. is Victory Junction first? Um, it's a camp for kids okay. and children who have disabilities and illnesses and they get to come together for a summer and just have fun and feel like a regular kid. And I understand you all had a recent trip there? Yes. Yes. Talk uh, to us about it. Um, this is, uh, it was our second trip. We, we initiated it last year. Um, we've been raising uh, uh, funds for uh, Victory Junction. Uh, it's the state uh, charity for all the state SGAs and we've just kind of taken it upon ourselves to really make this our, our, our focus and uh, since 2012 uh, Cross Creek Early College it's a school of only 250 students and, but we have donated over $15,000 to, wow. uh, to Victory Junction since 2012 so we're very proud of that and happy to help these students. That is um, awesome. Yeah. You know what, I think I saw maybe, I don't know, I hope this is the right group, I saw a photo of you all maybe on a bridge. Yes, yes. 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 I saw that, I was like, oh, those kids are from Cumberland County Schools. That is awesome. One of the students, uh, the, the uh, SGA president from Pine Forest uh, mm -hmm. about two years ago, he initiated this uh, work visit day with uh, Victory Junction, and so we decided to take advantage of it. And we went last year, enjoyed it. We went this year as well and enjoyed it. We took 40 students. Yes. And, uh, and it's just, a, it's really, um, I'm looking for the word. It's just really kind of uh, gratifying to actually visit the place and see where, uh, going. where yes. the money's going and what they do for these young people with uh, chronic, chronic disabilities and diseases and mm -hmm. illnesses. Uh, it's good. a fabulous place to visit. That's all right. And I understand you all work with Operation Blessings as well. Yes. Now, what is Operation Blessing? It's a, uh, uh, they do some of the same things that uh, Urban Ministries uh, also touches upon. They, there's a food uh, pantry. Mm -hmm. they, uh, there's also a clothing, uh, I don't know if you call it a pantry, a clothing mm -hmm. closet. And they also, I think, uh, do some, uh, some uh, emergency financing if, uh, oh. if, you need, if you are really uh, struggling to pay your light bill or something like that. You can okay. go and approach them and they, they can give you some, uh, some small emergency sums for, to, for just emergent, emergency issues there. Okay, mm -hmm. and um, I know we were talking in the break and I think you mentioned that um, the county, all the SGAs in the county are kind of working with that. Yes. So you're right. as well. Yes. So um, what are you guys doing? So a few students, uh, a few months back, we took a trip down to Operation Blessing and we helped, um, you know, packing clothes, packing food bags. Oh, cool. So a few of us did some volunteer work down there. That's awesome. And also all, the, all of the SGAs from Cumberland County uh, 
put together some funds and uh, we were able to present a check to oh. Operation Blessing at a luncheon that we held in April. Oh. Oh. That's nice. Oh, that's so good. That is really good. And you know what? I'm, I always say this to our guests, but I'm looking at the clock on the wall. I see our time is ticking down. I want to ask you, Morgan, what could you say to any young person out there that's watching this particular show who may be playing with the idea of being involved in SGA but don't quite know if they should? What would you say to encourage them to get involved? do it because you only have basically your high school college years to do it and there's no time like the present so you need, you need you need to get involved now rather than regretting it years later and thinking oh why didn't i do that in high school why didn't i do this why didn't i join it and what has it meant to you to me sga means a way of getting more involved with my school becoming a, sort of a leader almost mm -hmm. And it's been nice to, uh, as, a, as an advisor, it's really nice to see our students develop and become more confident in, within themselves. Um, we're a school that our job is to prepare students to become professionals. That's, that's, that's what early college is about, prepare, prepare them for that. And so it's great to see students like Morgan really kind of uh, come out of that introverted shell and uh, take on responsibilities, become more confident, take on leadership roles, and uh, you know, they just blossom. It's oh yeah, fun. without it's, a doubt. It's, uh, it's once again doubt. gratifying to watch. And you can tell when she's talking about it, her face just, and she, that <laughs> stance, she gets that Superman stance, yeah. which is what they say you should do, you know, she yes, gets that yes. stance, that's a good thing. Now do you all, and, I'm, and like I said, I know our time is ticking down, but I want to ask this really quickly, future plans for your SGA? Uh, well, we, I think we'll continue to uh, we'll, we'll continue to uh, support uh, Victory Junction. Uh, we've kind of made it our own, so I mm -hmm. think we'll continue on with that. Um, we continue to th try to think of things to uh, uh, ways to uh, offer things to the students in the school as well. Make it a, make our school a pleasant experience for the students, whether it's through talent shows or. Uh, pageants or things of that nature. All right, all right. Well, I, had, I have really enjoyed this show. I mean, I enjoy all our shows, but I really enjoy the show. It's always refreshing to have young people on the show. So you know what, Morgan? We're going to have you back. Yeah. Look at that, you see that smile? She's oh, so bright. And Kenny, thank you so very much for joining us as well, OK? No problem. I wish you all the very best with your SGS. Thanks thank you. Us. All right. Well, on behalf of the Cumberland County School System, we want to thank you for tuning in to this edition of our show and for giving us a chance to help you get connected. Until next time.